There's this story of a brooding, self-serious young actor, a young hot thing making waves in Hollywood, and he's, he's burdened with the desire to, to really be an artist, right? To, 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 to pierce the veil, to show someone something, to show others something they've never seen before. I mean, he really, he, he sees himself as a serious actor. He wants to become a mythic figure. He wants to make art that lasts. And he's brooding with, with, with this, mm, this, this, this desire for perfection and for transcendence. And, and one day he sits down with a veteran actor, you know, a, a legendary mythic veteran actor and he and he broods to him he says i just i want to be great i want to be great like you were great i want to be great like the greats that we that we talk about you know i i want to matter i want to i want to be significant i want my art to reach people to touch people otherwise i'll be a a personal failure otherwise i won't matter nothing that i do will matter and i want to make art that matters right and then the the veteran actor looks at him (laughs) And says, you know what the fucking problem with you young bucks is? I'll say, I'll, I'll sum it up for you in one sentence. I'll sum it up for you. Stop trying to make art. Stop trying to make art and just become art. Stop trying to make art. Stop with the brooding self-obsession. Start with the narcissism. Start, stop with the sociopathy. You know, stop with with all of this gnarly self-obsession like eating you up from inside. Like, stop trying to make art. You must become art. And what does that mean? Well, it means you have to die a little. You have to die to who you were. You have to die to your expectations. You have to die somewhat to your plans. You have to die to being able to predict what's going to happen. You have to surrender. You have to let go. You have to get out of your own way. You must experience a form of unselfing. You must be cracked open. You must be uh, fucking broken apart. And only when you're on the other side of this resignation, only once you've been cracked open, only after you've died can you hope to meet the world not as a person but as a myth, as, 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 a, as an echo or, or a reflection of an experience that was larger than you were. You know, does that make sense? The, the greatest actors, they transcend themselves. We're not, we're not looking at that person anymore. We're looking at a living myth. We're looking at somebody who has slayed themselves and put themselves aside. You know, the mythic figures, they tell us the cave you fear holds the treasure you seek. These people went there. The true artists went there. They, they took a gamble, man. Like Jordan Peterson says, they, they contended with the unknown, you know? <laughs> like, they fucking slayed the dragon their solar plexus was vibrating at 500 rpms per second they died they died and only then they achieved transcendence and then it's whatever they're able to to bring back from that experience somatically in their body if if even a glimpse some intimation of that lightning was captured in a bottle then my friends you've got transcendent art then you've got the ark of the covenant and us mere viewers you know mere audience goers you know we can look inside of the ark of the covenant and god is in there but if you look at it you die in other words to experience great art also is to slay yourself even the watcher even the viewer even the audience has to die right stop trying to make art stop trying to watch art just become art just become art